This tutorial is to show you how to download, edit, and replace a syllabus and schedule. Instructors must download, edit, and replace their syllabus and schedule in each live course they teach. The syllabus or schedule files are hyperlinked within the content editor of an item called Syllabus, Schedule, and Course Policies. In addition, there is a date next to the syllabus and schedule that should be updated manually to alert the students in Course Manager about the currency of the document. When you overwrite the document, it must be the same type of document that there that was there initially. So let's take a look at what it, um, the syllabus and schedule looks like in the course. Under course information within every course there is a syllabus schedule and course policies area. On this there is the syllabus and the schedule. First of all you'll want to download them. So I'm going to click on it to download it. I'm going to open it in Word. What I need to do here is I need to change the faculty information area. Then I want to scroll down to the bottom. I, I should be familiar with the course, and if I'm not, I should read through it. Um, but otherwise, at the very bottom, I want to go down and make sure that I have my attendance policy uh, put in place, as well as um, any participation and late assignment policies that I would like to have my students adhere to. Once that's done, what I want to do is save it. So I will save it as um, in my desktop. You know, my course is uh, say TESOL 530. So now I have saved my newest version of my syllabus for this quarter. Um, and then I will do the same thing with the course schedule. So you download it make your changes to the times. So if this is uh, the first week, then I would put in the dates and then I would do so for the rest of the weeks of the course. And then I'm going to save as and save on my desktop. I will also rename it once I'm done with that, I come back to the course, and the easiest way to replace them is by clicking on this contextual menu right next to the name, and then clicking on Overwrite File. Then I can browse my computer, find the course schedule, or the syllabus I believe was the one I was doing, and then Submit. Now the syllabus should be new, so to test that, I'm just going to click on it and I'm going to open it and I'm going to look for the changes I made. Yep, the changes are there. I'm good. So I'll do the same thing with the schedule. Click on the contextual menu, overwrite file, browse my computer, find the schedule, submit, and then I check it. So I'll just open it. I won't save it. And I want to make sure that the dates I changed really did happen. And there's the dates I changed. Perfect. I am done. One note here is that it's best to download what is there because that should be the most current version for this course that will match what is in the course um, and that will also uh, alleviate issues with trying to overwrite the, uh, different types of files. So you need to have the same type of file. So if this is a docx, you need to upload a docx, overwrite it with a docx. If this is a PDF, you would need to overwrite it as a PDF. If, if it's just doc, then you would need to overwrite it with a doc. So be aware of that. Um, and then the next thing is the updated uh, date. So each of these has a date next to it, and this helps uh, both students and course managers know when the last time these were updated. So if you have a change, you need to change the, the schedule mid-quarter, mid um, you, you would update that, and then you would update the specific date as well. So you would edit the item, put in the date, and the same date for me for the syllabus and schedule, and then you hit submit and it's updated. If you click on this contextual menu and you don't see any option to overwrite, uh, the other way you can change these is by editing the item and then highlighting the name 
and clicking on this breaking a uh, link icon. I'm going to break it and then I'm going to uh, embed my new uh, document. So if it, if it used to be a doc um, file and I want to use a docx, I could break that link of the doc and then I could link uh, and browse my computer for that newer syllabus and leave the defaults and insert and then that new docx is there. And then I can do the same thing with the course schedule and then submit. And that is how you download, edit, and update your course syllabus and course schedule. If you have any questions, please email bbsupport at cityu.edu.